Welcome back to Why in the Morning. And if it's Tuesday, is Entrepreneurship Tuesday. The hashtag to use is hashtag Entrepreneurship, Entrepreneurship Tuesday at Y254 channel is where you can find us across all our social media handles. At Michelle Ashira is where you can find me across all my social. In this particular session, we dive into an interview that looks at uh, several ways to gain uh, passive incomes. And in studio, I'm joined with Shiko Wawero. She's the founder of Lima Vest limited karibu sana shiko asante sana thank you for having me Michelle. you look fabulous thank you asante <laughs> <laughs> oh well, welcome to uh, why in the morning mm -hmm. and for the some for the uh couple of people have met you right or, 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 or already online right yes. so mm. uh, for someone who's meeting you for the first time mm. apart from your title as the founder of lima vest yeah. so, uh who is shiko awero uh shiko awero is um a wife mm -hmm. she's a mother a sister and I just I'm just living life <laughs> oh, <I explore laughs> <Yeah. of> life. <laughs> so uh, tell us more about uh, what you do uh, when it comes to uh, Lima Vest oh okay we are uh, with Lima Vest we deal with real estate and agribusiness where we empower our client financially by uh, by providing uh, our investment opportunities yeah, that is like uh, we have few projects like uh, the pineapple farming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so with that you buy an acre of land, which now which was three sixty and now now it's three eighty per acre. Mm -hmm. That comes planted. Three sixty k. Yeah, three eighty. Three eighty. Yeah, three eighty. Okay. Uh, comes planted with pineapple. Uh, as Lima Vest, we plant, manage, and get the market for you. Oh wait, let me get this. So I'm yeah. buying a land of 380k. Yes, per that, acre. Per acre. Yeah. That's already uh, uh, planted. No, uh, once of course it's once you clear okay. paying, uh -huh. then we plant for you. Oh, why? Wow. And we manage the farm for you and mm. get also the market. Ah, oh, that's one of uh, ways to actually gain a you know passive income. Passive income. Yes. All right. So whatever, what else, what else do you guys do? Yeah, so we we saw, okay, so we had um, okay, we had a few uh, other projects mm -hmm. that right now we are not doing them now. Mm -hmm. uh, we had uh, beekeeping, uh, we had goat keeping, mm -hmm. and now now pineapple. Mm -hmm. uh, and because of what we are currently doing, we okay. have decided to focus on the pineapple for mm -hmm. now. Okay, before yes. we get there, <laughs> yeah, about the new baby. <laughs> yes, talk to us about uh, for someone who is in the let's say the. 24 to yeah. 35 yeah. someone who's just maybe from college yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, they have uh, extra coin probably yeah. saved somewhere mm -hmm. what are a couple of uh, ways to invest to just get passive income uh okay For a young person of course it depends with uh with the amount you have no, okay, okay. Yeah, let's work with <laughs> <laughs> uh let's not give it let's not give exact give amount yeah, let's yeah. not give a figure so yeah yeah, so it depends with the amount we have, and you see, like, uh, or I'll, I'll give an example of our our company. Mm -hmm. I remember when I was I was doing the beekeeping. Uh, there is the, investment in beekeeping. I was thinking of a young person, because we were it was as little as the thirteen thousand nine hundred and fifty. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. So and then so there was investment for that much. That was for one wife, uh, one hive. Sorry, mm -hmm. one hive. Like you could start with one hive and then continue adding and uh, so that was uh, I was looking for someone who like a student a house manager mm -hmm. and then also we had uh, for goat keeping which we were doing at 250 and then the pineapple okay. of course there are of, of course with other company there are other things so uh, that's why I was saying by the end of the day it depends with how the amount that you have all right let's work with the beekeeping which is around 13,000 so for that uh, what is the time frame and how how much are my returns uh, and how long am okay. i looking at yeah for beekeeping for one hive that's one hive which uh, was 13,950 that one was giving you 7,200 for one year okay so you wait for one year to get your returns right yeah. so literally money which is working for you yeah the money working for you okay yeah what would you say that a couple of passive income benefits and why we as young people should uh, have that mindset uh, one, one of the one of the benefit of, 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 of passive income is that you can still 
do whatever you're doing, uh, whether you're working, that, you can, uh, that money will work for you because you don't have to put so much effort on it because you, uh, you have invested in someone who is an expert on that area mm -hmm. who will do that for you. And also it helps, it helps you on a rainy day. Let, let me, let's say that you lose your job, but whatever you invested on will help you in the future. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are there risks when it comes to this space or is it like a sure bet? Uh, I don't think, I, I can't say it's 100%. Of course, in mm -hmm. every business there is a risk, mm -hmm. but that should not stop you from, from, from investing or going for it. But of course, before you invest, you should do your due diligence, mm -hmm. you should do your research and be sure that this is what I want to invest. So you invest, uh, check the risk and be sure that you are getting into something that you, you, you know what you're doing. Right. Yeah. When it comes to Limavest, how long have you guys been into the market space ah. and uh, mm. uh, how was it during the first years of operation? Okay. Mm. For, uh, we started in 2019, end of 2019. Mm -hmm. uh, so what happens in 20, we had just like I think November and then 20, 2020 came and we were excited to start the, uh, the business and then Corona happened like a whole year. Mm -hmm. So we've been there for like now two years, we're going to two years. Two years? Yeah, we are still very young. <laughs> Let it's me tell company. you, the amount of buzz <laughs> you guys are making online, <laughs> if someone would ask me how long you guys have been into the market space, I'll be looking at probably five years and plus. Really? Yes, what is your marketing <laughs> strategy? Uh, we, okay, we come from, uh, I come from a, a, a family where we used to do real estate. Okay. Just that we got into now agribusiness mm -hmm. where we sell land and do the farming. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, what was the question? The <laughs> marketing strategy, you guys have made a, a huge buzz on social media. Yeah. Because I was saying that uh, if you are, if if it's not for now that mm -hmm. I know that you guys have been in existence into yeah. for two years, yeah. I thought we'd we'll be looking at five years and plus. Oh, okay. We, of course, uh, we, we came to, especially that time for Corona when there was no much happening. Uh, we, st we made noise on social media because mm -hmm. now that's where, uh, nowadays where everyone is. Yeah, we, we made noise there, everyone got to know us. And of course from our, also our background of real estate. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let me take you back. Yeah. You mentioned something about uh, you all coming from a background of real estate. Mm, yeah. What did you study in school? Does it have to do anything with what you're doing right now? Uh, if I, no. Okay, personally, I had not studied any. Uh, I am, personally, I was a teacher. Mm -hmm. a kindergarten teacher but I also learned from the family business I got to learn a lot and I was also interested uh, with the farming um, my mom is a, my mom was a farmer and of course when I was uh, a stay-at-home mom I also tried a couple of farming and that's when I realized that this is what I want to pursue yeah mm -hmm. so real estate and farming mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. What was it like when it comes to someone who wants to get into, uh, what would you call whatever you're doing right now? Because it's a, you're providing investment opportunities most definitely for, yeah, for our clients, for your clients. Mm. And someone, what would you say? What do you do? Uh, myself. Yeah. Uh, I'll just say I'm, I'm in uh, <laughs> I'm in agri business. Okay. I am a farmer. Oh, right. And also I sell land. Okay, yeah. so uh, on that space, there's been a couple of uh, uh, yes. stories that have been trending. Mm -hmm. Can see? Oh, first of all, when we saw you with Dana Marwa, you yeah. guys were the best of the best friends. Yeah. You guys on uh, vacation together. Yeah. I've seen a couple of videos on YouTube yeah. and all that. So you guys were close, and uh, uh, so there was a story going around yeah. that uh, uh, she accuses uh, Lima Vest, yeah. CEO, which is you. She got aware of defrauding mm. her friend. I think it was around seven hundred thousand. Mm. Uh, would you like to reply to that? Uh, okay, I honestly don't know why she said that. Mm -hmm. I have not had a sitting and ask her why. Mm -hmm. But uh, that does not change who I am or what we do. That does not change our business. We still. Uh, you know, when, uh, that, uh, we, we still continue to do what we are doing and then time will tell. People will see the fruit of our, our work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. For someone who is watching this and they want to uh, invest or 
invest uh, in a space of agribusiness yeah. or even get into ways to just get passive income. Mm. What are a couple of things you should say that they should consider before picking up passive income stream? Uh, they should check whether that's what they want to invest in. Um, uh, do their due diligence, uh, check whether these lands are, are, are genuine, uh, visit the place, see how it works, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's now talk about the new baby on the block. <laughs> <laughs> oh. so, you, so you guys okay. are, br uh, um, are bringing in a, a new brand? Yeah, we're, uh, we're bringing in a new product. Mm -hmm. Uh, so uh, this was uh, this was uh, the idea from the from the beginning, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, this was the time that we wanted to launch this uh, this product. Uh, so from our pa own pineapples, because I told you we do uh, pineapple farming in Malindi. So from our point pineapple, we've been able to make our own wine, uh, uh, white, um, uh, sweet and dry. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's called Sava. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Mm. So looking back, uh, what so the transition? Because yeah. there's a lot that you guys do. Because mm. there's the beekeeping, yeah. there's uh, pineapples. Mm -hmm. We talked about goats. Yeah, we did. We talked talk about goats. And yeah. then there's the uh, is beekeeping and honey one thing. Yeah, it's one thing. Yeah, All we right. get the honey from the bees. All right. Yeah. So how are you guys? able to like uh, stay afloat especially especially during this time of covid mm. of covid 19 yeah. and how is the business so far just juggling all this uh, segmented uh, uh, different products uh, uh it's uh, the business has been okay uh, the reason uh, in the beginning while we were doing the beekeeping and honey we we're just providing more opportunities to our client mm -hmm. but the currently because we want to uh, we want to focus on the wine the server wine that's why we just we have decided to focus on the pineapple family because we need a lot of pineapple to to make the wine and that's why now we have uh, we've gone to our second phase uh, with our first phase we were selling uh, land at 360 mm -hmm. and now we're selling land at 380 so we need more people to invest so that we can they can be part of this uh, wine making all right yeah. looking back what are a couple of financial lessons that you've learned along the way in this space of business uh, just managing your finances, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. it's very important. Speaking about managing your finances, mm. do you have uh, investment options for you? Like, uh, if you invest, where are you comfortable investing at Shiko? Uh, sorry, sorry. When Can it comes to investment mm -hmm. for you, where are you really comfortable in investing mm -hmm. for Shiko? Not like uh, forgetting about the company and everything. You as a person, I, w I will. <laughs> as Shiko, I will still invest in this business, in mm -hmm. the farming. I love the farming. And then I'm so excited about the winemaking because it's something that I've always wanted. And the time is here and we are so excited to go. Oh, so for yeah. potential clients who are coming on board yeah. and there is an issue of credibility, because mm. when something, uh, after especially what happened on social media and everything, yeah. and people had so many things to say, yeah. how do you build that credibility back? Uh, you know, okay. Um, I will just uh, uh, what what uh, what uh, what I said is that um, I uh, for those who for those who want to invest will come ask questions, will visit, will have uh, will take. Uh, I I will just advise someone to take their time before you get into it. Even if it's my business, take your time until you're sure. Uh, take your time to see how we we are doing our business. And then when the time comes that you're sure this is true, just come in mm -hmm. and invest, yeah. Okay, for a young person yeah. who has, because uh, as a young person, you know, like uh, investment is one thing that's usually far from our mind. Mm. Probably have student loans. We mm. are probably, uh, most of the time, just living hand to mouth. Yeah. When it comes to that particular person who is watching this conversation, what mm. would be your advice in building capacity? Uh, for them, I can okay. They can uh, they can start with the, like a, a side hustle where okay. they because uh, as much as with passive income we allow you to do uh, it's, it's where that you allow your money to work for you. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to put some effort. Like you have to look uh, on your side. You have to look for that money uh, in the first place for you to invest. So for a young person, you can just start by saving kidogo kidogo until you get there, mm -hmm. yeah, or do, or, 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 or just um, 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 
do something that you are passionate about. Maybe you are gifted in, in hair making, in, in the beauty, you, are, you, you, are, you can do YouTube or whatever, whatever you can do as a young person to generate that money, to get that money and, say, and, and put in savings, just do it, yeah. Okay. yeah. For people who want to, of course, work with you, mm -hmm. what, would be, what would you say that it is, what is your like, uh, uh, value proposition? for them that you guys are outstanding compared to if they to invest in any other agri business um, we are uh, okay with uh, okay um, with lima okay um, what do i say like your niche in the market um, we are we are the uh, 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 with Landa, sorry mm -hmm. uh, most uh, most of these companies that uh, invest in uh, in Landa, uh, with, they do, if they say, uh, you do an agribusiness, most of them with this land, they lease the land. Mm -hmm. And what you need to remember with Lima Vest, you own the land. The land is yours by the end of the day. Mm -hmm. So with Lima Vest, we sell the land at 380,000 per acre. Uh, that land becomes yours. And then you sign a contract with us for management. Because the land is yours, you have to give us the permission. To, to manage the land. So by the end of the day, even if you decide that you're not going to go on with the pineapple planting and you want to do something else, the land is still yours. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now I get it. So it, I still own the land. So if, if I can yeah, come you still own the land. I, I may decide not to plant pineapples at the end of the day. Yeah, you might decide not to. Uh, this is an opportunity we've just given you. Okay. Yeah, you can take it or decide to do something else. All right. Yeah. If people want to keep this conversation going on social media, how can they reach out to you guys? Uh, we are, our physical location is at Two Rivers, okay. uh, a Southern Tower, first mm -hmm. floor. Mm -hmm. Or you can reach us on our social media, Limavest underscore, that is Instagram. Mm -hmm. Or you can call us on 0710-519-686. Okay, probably can repeat that again. <laughs> Okay, our physical address is at Two Rivers Southern mm -hmm. Tower, first floor. Mm -hmm. uh, or you can reach us on our Instagram, uh, mm -hmm. LimaVest underscore, or even pers my, personal, uh, uh, my personal Instagram is Shiko Wawero. Or you can call us at 0710-519-689. All right, any events coming up? Yeah, uh, yeah we are launching the Saba Wine mm -hmm. very soon. We'll, let you, uh, we'll update you. We're just uh, finishing on a few things, mm -hmm. and then we'll launch it. Uh, and then now we've just launched our second phase, and you guys are so welcome. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, uh, Shiko Averu, mm -hmm. for creating time to be with us. Hopefully mm -hmm. we will be invited for yeah. the launch. <laughs> yeah, you guys will be invited. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so that yeah. is Shiko Averu, the CEO of Lima Vest. So yeah. make sure you keep up with her to yeah. keep the conversation going. Remember, the Y254 channel is where you can find us across all our social media handles. At Michelle Ashira is where you can find me across all my social. We'll be right back with more on Entrepreneurship Tuesday.